Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be finding a formula for the square root of a complex number. This is a video response to Black Pen Red Pen, who made a video on this on April 4th. In this video, I'll be using a different method. With all due respect. So let the square root of a plus bi equal x plus yi. So our goal is to solve for x and y in terms of a and b. Now, my claim is that this implies that the square root of a minus bi is x minus yi. Let me go ahead and explain why this works. I'll start by squaring x plus yi. When I square it, I'll get x squared plus 2xyi plus y squared i squared, but i squared equals negative 1. So this is going to give me y squared. Now, if I arrange these terms, I'll be getting x squared minus y squared plus 2xyi. And notice that this is supposed to equal a plus bi because the square root of a plus bi, we wrote it as x plus yi. So we squared both sides, basically. So from here, we get something super duper important. The real part of this complex number is equal to the real part of this complex number right here. And the complex or imaginary part is equal to b. So from here, we get a system of equations. And in his video, he solved the system. But I'll do it a little differently. But at least we know two things here. Now, let me go ahead and square x minus yi and explain why it's going to work that way. So when we square this, you're going to get something very similar to this, except this one is going to be 2xyi. And notice that here, we know that this is equal to a and this is equal to b. So this gives us a minus bi. And this just proves our claim that the square root of a minus bi can be written as x minus yi. So let me go ahead and copy those here and I'll show you how I use this as a system. So the square root of a plus bi is equal to x plus yi and the conjugate, the square root of the conjugate is the conjugate. All right. So it, it kind of works like this. Let's go ahead and solve this system. And to solve this system, I'm going to multiply these together. When we multiply them together, Normally, from a plus b and a minus b, you get difference of 2 squared, which is a squared minus b squared. But this is going to be a squared minus b squared i squared. And that can be written as a squared plus b squared, which is a sum of two squares, not a difference. And this one is going to be similar x squared plus y squared. Awesome. Remember, we're trying to solve for x and y in terms of a and b because our goal is to find the square root of a plus b i we want to find the formula so our goal is to solve for x and y so let's go ahead and rewrite this as x squared plus y squared equals square root of a squared plus b squared now remember when we were squaring both sides we got another equation that we could use that is x squared minus y squared equals a Let's go ahead and write that down here too. And now we got a system. Why don't we just go ahead and add these up? Y squared cancels out. We get 2x squared equals square root of a squared plus b squared plus a. And that is going to be divided by 2, right? Let's go ahead and divide it by 2 to get x squared. From here, we get x squared. But remember, our goal is to solve for x. So let's go ahead and square root both sides. When we square root both sides, since a and B are all real numbers. A squared plus B squared is positive. It's everything is well defined. X can be written as plus minus the square root of this expression right here. We have the plus minus sign. And I know so far I've only been focusing on one of the square roots, but a complex number has two square roots. So don't worry about it. Eventually we'll take care of that. So x is found that way. How about y? If we square these equations, we get y squared. I, I meant subtract, right? OK. If you subtract these equations, you get the square root of a squared plus b squared. Oh, that's like a weird b squared. 
So a squared plus b squared square root of that minus a and divide by both sides and square root, you're going to get something similar. But this time, you're going to have the minus sign inside the radical. Not the radical, but kind of like inside the outer radical, which is like this. Okay, so we got the x and y values. So y is equal to plus minus this and x equals plus minus that. But we are trying to find the square root of a plus bi. That's our goal. Let's not forget that. And we assumed it could be written as x plus yi. So I'm going to put these two together to write the square root of a plus bi in terms of a and b. But here's the problem. We have the plus minus signs. How is that going to work? And here's how I can write it first without considering any of the cases. I can write this as plus minus. Now go ahead and find the x value. If you pull that over here, it's going to be the square root of that plus a divided by 2. And then the y is going to be the pretty much the same thing, but it's just going to have a minus sign, as you know. And we're going to have to multiply this by i, right? Obviously. So this looks like a formula, but the, the, this gives us four solutions. But a complex number has only two square roots. So how do we handle the plus minus signs? Here's where our other equation comes in. 2xy equals b. And thank you for the idea because I kind of stole it from that video. So 2xy is equal to b. If b is positive, so we're going to look at different cases here. If b is positive, then xy is positive because 2 is positive. That means x and y have the same sign. Because the product of, if the product of 2 numbers is positive, that means they're both positive or both negative. What if b is negative? That means x and y have different signs. Like if one is positive, the other one is negative. I'll explain what that means. And if b is equal to 0, you're going to get the square root of a. And come on, you can do that, right? That's easy. So now let's see how this plays out. If our b value is positive, x and y are going to have the same sign. But So you're going to use plus plus or minus minus. And remember, if you can find one of the complex roots, one of the complex square roots, then the other one is just going to be the opposite, which explains the plus minus situation also, right? If b is negative, you're going to have plus minus or minus plus. And that's pretty much it, right? Okay, great. Now let's see how we can apply this to a numerical value. So suppose we're trying to find the square root of 7 plus 24i. Yes, I checked it before. It works. All right, great. So if you plug in a, a7, b is 24. By the way, 7, 24, 25 is a Pythagorean triple. And, you know, because if you add these, you get 7 squared. So that kind of works. Anyways, so you can go ahead and plug them in here. Square root of a squared plus b squared is going to be 25. In other words, plus 7, which is a divided by 2, plus minus. And by the way, since our b is positive, let's just use both pluses. And now we're just going to negate it. That's going to be 25 minus 7 over 2 multiplied by i. This is going to give us 25 plus 7, which is 32. Half of 32 is going to be 16. Square root of 16 is going to be 4. And 25 minus 7 is 18. Half of 18 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3i. So one of the square roots is going to be 4 plus 3i. And the other one is going to be negative 4 minus 3i, of course. And if you square these numbers you'll get 7 plus 24i. How do you think I got that? By squaring 4 plus 3i. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, first of all, I want to thank Black Pen Red Pen for the idea and you for watching. Please let me know what you think. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.